Bienvenidos. Benvenuto. Bien, bien. And welcome. I'm feeling pretty international today. That's because we're coming to you from the International Club, right in the heart of Myrtle Beach. You're going to love this very special episode of The Traveling Golfer as we go international. Hey folks, I'm Jeff Gilder, managing partner for Traveling Golfer. Tony Leodora is out on the course with the superintendent taking a look at some things. I'm here at International Club looking for my buddy AJ Gohill. Have you seen him? Who I ran into, my good friend AJ Gohill from Myrtle Beach Golf Trail. AJ, how you doing, man? Great to see I'm you. I'm doing good, Jeff. How are you, brother? You looking good, man? Yeah, looking you good. too, man. How about the trail? How are things going? Trail is doing great. You know, traveling the trail, people around the whole country are coming here. They're enjoying all of our golf courses from the South End, Georgetown, yeah. all the way to Shalote, North Carolina. We just added a few courses this year. It's really good. We're up to 22 and counting, counting. <laughs> and you know what that means for everybody out there? It means great packages. Yeah. We've got, we've got the four round package a lot of our a lot of our uh, uh, visiting golfers love it because it includes a hundred dollar gift card you come down here you play for four days you, you know your, your lunch is done a brand new shirt whatever you want to use that card for so that's good guys younger guys than us that love to play 36 a day the trail 33 has been a great hit you're booking 18 holes in the morning your afternoon rounds are pre-booked we call it the trail 33 three or more rounds and you are getting 36 a day jeff Wow. And, and, you know, these new courses that we added are just adding more uh, options. Yeah. Like, I haven't figured it out yet, but you could probably have 800 different package options by adding these courses and, and adding these ones the following year. And for budget, so you, how is it going? It's going great because we got so many great budgets. You can have a high-end package. You can have a middle package. Any budget to fit your needs by visiting. How do they do that, Jeff? You MyRobeachGolfTrail.com. You, you got it, brother. Yeah. Go to MyRobeachGolfTrail.com. We got the best deals, best golf courses, best combinations, and I'm going to take him out in the golf course and show him how great I'm putting. Can't wait. One moment changes everything. Distance, precision, decided in a microsecond. So reduce your ball spin and get the most performance at impact with four yards more. A next-gen golf tee proven by pros and players like you. The unique durable design flexes at contact, reducing ball spin, giving you tighter control and more distance. So change your game and get four yards more. Brought to you by Greenkeepers. Golf smart. The time is now. Myrtle Beach Golf has never looked better, and your best shot is yet to come. Embrace every moment and escape to your course of choice. At Yingling, we've been brewing great beer that brings people together for nearly two centuries. Wherever good times happen, Yingling Traditional Lager has been there and will be for the next round. Yingling, to good times ahead. It screams. It tracks. It's soft. It reacts. It is the Bridgestone Tour B with a game-changing reactive cover designed to spring faster off your driver and stick longer to your wedges. Try Bridgestone's Tour Bs. The Tour Ball reinvented. <laughs> It's not often that you get the superintendent at a golf course for a long description. It's even less frequent that you get a superintendent who has been here since day one. 1999, Jim Naffel, superintendent at the International Club. You've been here so long, you even know where the bodies are buried. 
I believe I do. All right. Well, with that kind of background, it's easy to talk about a club that has developed over the years as this has. It's built in a community, but the course has sort of evolved over the years, too. And I guess the biggest step was somewhere around 2018 or so. You changed the grass on the greens, and uh, that really has helped the club. Yes, it had. We had the original grass on the greens, Tiff Eagle, which I absolutely loved uh, from day one. And, you know, like most courses, you know, the, the greens, they hit an expiration date. <laughs> So we went with Sunday Bermuda and, and we have been uh, really happy with it. And it's a great hardy grass, transitions very well. And uh, like I said, the club's been, all our guests and members are, you know, really happy about it. Yeah. And of course, these new hybrid Bermudas like Sunday Bermuda, which has been used at a lot of the courses up along the Grand Strand, uh, actually putt like bent grass a little bit, less grain. Absolutely. The, the old Bermudas used to grow towards the setting sun. These newer grasses grow typically like bent grass where it grows more towards the water um, and, it, and it's much more upright, denser, you know, so it does, it does putt more like bent grass. I always ask, do you have a couple favorites and people hate to sometimes pick out favorites, but I'm sure you do. Number 12 is another one of our uh, fun type signature holes. It's a reachable par five that's also over water and um, that means risk reward right that there. That means I'm sure. risk reward, yes. Yeah. yes. This is number 12, a hole that Jim described as a reachable par five. Since you opened your mouth, let's put you to test. Go at it, big boy. Let's see what you can do. Some heat on that one. Let's go see. Wow, that was a big drive. Only 208 to the green. Jim, put it on. I will never doubt you again the rest of my life. That's got a chance. Let's go see. Not only did he reach the par five, he's got a putt for Eagle. Knock it in. Oh, give me birdie. You can't do any better than that. Well, maybe a little bit better, but that's pretty darn good. Jim, I had to put a third O in smooth to describe the way that putt rolled on your greens. Amazing. Well, thank you very much. Uh, and that was three days after we overseeded greens. Unbelievable. That's interesting. What is your overseed program? Because in Myrtle Beach, you can get everything from the courses that don't overseed at all to the ones who overseed wall to wall. Yes. Well, here we oversee greens, tees, and fairways. And especially on the greens, we do a, a light verticut like two or three days before we overseed and we seed. And I mean, they're playing the next day with minimal disruption. That's great. And of course, with that program of seeding tees, greens, and fairways, you get that contrast with the rough that then turns color in the winter. That's pretty pretty sharp, I think. Uh, I, I love it too. I, you know, call that a desert style overseeding. And you know, you see that in Phoenix, and you see the the PGA events on TV. You actually start to see it in the mid fall, and then you know, continue on through the spring. Yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. Golf in Myrtle Beach actually does have four different seasons. It does. Now, in the last couple of years, it's been busy, busier, busiest, and my hair is on fire, but it really is a, uh, a four-season area now for golf. Absolutely. It used to be spring and fall we were busy. Now, it's it's been a total year-round business. I've been coming back every year since 1986, so I guess the product's pretty good in Myrtle Beach. It is. It is. Hi, I'm Matt Neely, Vice President of Product Development at Tor Edge Golf. 
With the 722 lineup and every new product launch, we're given the incredible opportunity to build upon our past successes and failures to create new and exciting products to bring to the marketplace. With that opportunity comes a lot of pressure to create product that is actually better than the ones that came before it. That process involves the creation and iteration of multiple product lines, iterating and improving until we have a product that fits all of our criteria. The final output requires a lot of boxes to be checked before we consider our job done. When looks, feel, and performance all match up with our expectations, there's no better feeling in the world. It's not all sunshine and roses, though. Along the way, we end up with a lot of failed prototypes. A lot of great ideas on paper that really end up being complete failures in practice. If I could walk you through our R&D library, you'd see a lot of things that would make you turn your head or perhaps even walk away from golf altogether. But with every failed prototype comes some great learning about what to do and what not to do. And if we aren't failing, then we aren't pushing the envelope far enough. With 722, you'll get the chance to see some of these successes. A well-rounded product lineup capable of fitting a wider array of golfers that is, in my opinion, our best product launch ever. But just know that somewhere at Tor Edge headquarters, there's a box full of failures. It's as easy as five, two, three. Doesn't get any easier. This Houdini sold is like magic when you just need to launch it. I wish more of my pro-am partners had these. I wish more of everybody had these. Because golf is hard. So make it easier. Make it five, two, three easier. If there was a trophy for the most forgiving clubs, these would win every year. You want to talk about winning? You know he knows a bit about that. Pound for pound, nothing comes close. So, what do you want to do today? Today, I want to run. I want to ski. Thank you. I want to see a show. <laughs> I want to play. I want to eat, like a lot. I want to sleep in a hotel. Can we do all that? We can do all that and more. It screams. It tracks. It's soft. It reacts. It is the Bridgestone Tour B with a game-changing reactive cover designed to spring faster off your driver and stick longer to your wedges. Try Bridgestone's Tour Bs. The Tour Ball reinvented. At Yingling, as America's oldest brewery, we've been doing what we love for nearly two centuries, brewing great beer that brings people together, like friends catching up at their favorite spot or getting together to watch the game, kicking back, going out, or going all out. Yingling Traditional Lager has been at the center of good times, and we'll be there for the next round. Yingling, to good times ahead. I'm here with my good friend, Jonathan Brock, head professional at the International Club. How are you, Jonathan? What's going doing on? Doing well, AJ. How are you, sir? I'm doing good, doing good. Glad to be out here again. Last time I played it with about 12 of my buddies, golfing buddies, we had a fantastic time. The greens were rolling so good, fairways were smooth, had no excuses. So what else have you been doing since then? All right, staying busy, staying busy. The course is in great shape, as you said. Uh, we've really come a long way over the years with this, with this design, uh, Willard Bird design back in 2000. Greens are perfect right now. Fairways are perfect. The whole course is just magnificent. For a professional hacker like myself, it's always amazing if you get to the tee box, you read the little description of the hole, see what, what part of the world it's from, and then you go and enjoy it. So I really love it. I encourage all my friends out there to come see it. That is correct, yeah. Five sets of tee boxes, so you can kind of pick how long you would like to play the golf course. Very friendly golf course. As you can see, we got bunkers and we got ponds, and we're surrounded by these beautiful pine trees out here that run right through the neighborhood. But it's just a beautiful design golf course out here in, on the south end of Merle's Inlet. So you, I'm glad you mentioned South End, so they get great food down here and great golf courses that are all part of the Myrtle Beach Golf Trail. You've got a whole handful down here in the middle, up north, so I encourage all of them to go to MyrtleBeachGolfTrail.com and check out the best package that includes the International Club. Absolutely. We'd love to have everybody at the International Club of Myrtle Beach. Once again, just a great golf course if you've never played it. It's a design that you really need to get out and see at least one time, and, and who knows, it might be your favorite down here and you'll come back and play with us all the time. Can we sneak out and play a few holes? Absolutely, let's do it.
man, I hit that shot great, but I think I pulled it. I think it was these palm trees. They just, they caught my eye and I just pulled it. You know, we've all got excuses. Man, I need some help. Jonathan, Jonathan, I need some help, brother. Can you help me out of this? This is such a tough shot for me. I need some help. Absolutely. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we take enough club in our hand to make sure we cover any lip in front of us. That is the most important thing. We've got to make sure that we get it out, get it above the lip. So what you want to do is you want to take a good stance, good square stance. Okay. Dig your feet down the sand a little bit, get a good base. Okay. You want to choke up just a little bit on the golf club, just what, just a little bit. What club should I be using here? So right here, we're about 140 yards out. I always think you should take an extra club from what you normally would from the fairway. Uh, so that might be a seven iron for you, maybe an eight iron for you. Well, this was wishful thinking. I got my sand wedge. Oh. Hang on, I'm coming. I got so, my eight iron. Good. So get a nice, nice firm stance in the sand. Okay. Make sure you're choked up just a hair, okay? okay. And the biggest thing with the fairway bunker shots is you want to make sure that you don't put too much lower body into it, too much shifting and everything. Okay. Just a very smooth swing, concentrating on that ball first. Okay. Take a shot. Let's see what you got. So don't move my legs, right? Good shot. Yes. Good shot. That was done. I'm out. Absolutely. Thank you, Thank yes, you. sir. Thank Absolutely. You. I told you I was great, getting great at putting. Yeah, I didn't believe it, man. You didn't believe it. It's a good round. I'm a little hungry. Let's go see what they got to eat. Best part of the game. Let's go eat. What are you thinking, buddy? Well, I know what you're thinking. Uh, you know what I'm thinking. Wings. We wings. always do wings. Oh, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to do, um, I think I'm going to try one of the sandwiches. Well, you know what's going to go well with my wings? What's that? It's the Long Day Lager. Yeah. The official beer of the Myrtle Beach Golf Club. I think so I'll have one too. When our good friend gets over here, I can't wait to get a cold beer. Yeah. Hey, guys, where can I get you? Hey, how are you? Good I to would see you. love to get to see you. I'd love to have a Long Day Lager. You got it. And uh, spicy wings for me. Spicy wings? How many would you like? As many as you got. How about okay. 12? Okay. <laughs> 12 it is. I'll, I'll take one of the Long Day Lagers as well, and All I think right. I'll have the International Club. Okay. Sounds fantastic. Now, we put mayo on that. Is it okay? Yeah, I love mayo. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Uh, French fries on the side or onion rings? Oh. French fries. All right. Oh. I was hoping you'd say onion rings so I could <laughs> take one. Hey. We can do half and half. How about that? <laughs> half and half. Half and oh, half. Yeah. Wonderful. Nice. All right. I'll get you drinks. I'll put your order back, and I'll see you in a bit. All right. Beautiful. Thanks. 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 All right. International All right. Club. Check it out. Beautiful. <laughs> hey, you know what? I'm glad you said Look at them wings. Spicy oh, wings. Yeah. Here's an extra basket for your buns. You I'm let me know if you need anything else, okay? Thank you so much. Thank I'm going to share much. these with you. I'm going to share these you with you. I'm not going to eat all of them. Yeah. As long as you give me one of them rings. Tony's back. He's at the bar with you. Oh. One of the things about the International Club, its location is one of the closest golf courses to the airport. You can have your last beer, hop on a plane, head home. You can also, on your entry day, come right in, go right to the golf course, and then put together the rest of your week and wherever you're staying, all those things. That makes it awfully convenient. Absolutely. And I tell you, it's literally two, two turns and you're at the airport. Yeah. And probably three miles. Well, I'm Can't sure, beat it. I'm sure you get a lot of people in here with their golf clubs and their suitcases. Absolutely. Yeah. You see a lot of that. The other thing is... The International Club is so close to so much else in Myrtle Beach. The nature lovers, right down 17, Brook Green Gardens is an attraction that people know around the world, seriously, to go see these beautiful gardens. For those at the other end of the spectrum, the thrill seekers, Broadway at the beach, a wild spot that has just about everything there for adults and kids. Mm -hmm. And then, really close by, is the Marsh Walk. And it's literally about two miles down the road. There's tons of tons of great restaurants down there. It's the seafood capital, Myrtle Beach. There's all kinds of live music. It's a great time. Yeah, that place is a hopping place. And I'll tell you, if you want fresh seafood, you can't think of another place that has more variety and lots of fun things to do there 
it, it's it's more than just having dinner. That's for sure. That's right. Yeah, some rocking bands at the Marsh Walk. Mm -hmm. That sort of puts the International Club in the middle of everything. It does. We are very centrally located to about everything. Like I said, we're close to the airport. We're close to, you know, Broadway at the beach and all kinds of attractions. There's a little bit, a little bit for everybody. Yeah. Folks, don't just take it from me. Take it from Jim Naffel. This is a fun golf course, a fun environment, and a fun area. Put the International Club on your list in Myrtle Beach. The time is now. Myrtle Beach Golf has never looked better, and your best shot is yet to come. Embrace every moment and escape to your course of choice. One moment changes everything. Distance, precision, decided in a microsecond. So reduce your ball spin and get the most performance at impact with four yards more. A next-gen golf tee proven by pros and players like you. The unique durable design flexes at contact, reducing ball spin, giving you tighter control and more distance. So change your game and get four yards more. Brought to you by Greenkeepers. Golf smart. Tradition at its best. Golf lives right here in Montgomery County, Pennsylvania, home to the most historic top-ranked clubs in the country, more than 50 courses, and over 300,000 yards of green. With nearly 80 nearby hotels, incredible attractions, and dining options, it's clear Montgomery County isn't just a place to play golf, it's a destination. Stay and play in Montgomery County. Book your tee time now at montcogolf.com. Hey guys, we're going to introduce a brand new segment for you here on Traveling Golfer. It's called Real Golf, and for that, we need a real golfer. So we're going to bring out our executive producer, Dustin Gilder. He's a real golfer. He's going to play this hole. All right, I'll give it a shot. There you go, what man. kind of club we got here? Man, we've got a Tour Edge Exotic C22. Great club, man. It's hot now. Okay, all right. There's well, a couple balls. Well, I'm about a 15 handicapper, so this is going to be real golf. No mulligans, no second takes, and uh, we're going to keep track of uh, the score. In each episode, I'm going to play one hole from a featured golf course, and each episode, we're going to keep tally the score, and at the end of the year, we're going to see how well I do. So, here we go. Nice. Yeah. Over the trees, it's coming back. Beautiful. Is that playable? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Sometimes the blind squirrel finds a nut. <laughs> well, I can't believe it. <laughs> I uh, found the rough. That's okay. I'm almost in the fairway. And uh, I got a four hybrid here. I'm about 210, 215 away. And all amateurs do. I'm going to go for it. So let's see what we got here. Right. Oh! Did that hit the green? Not lucky. Water right there. Got a good hop from that bunker right there. Now. I'm going to be hitting my third shot onto the green on this par five. Here we go. There in the hole. Uh oh. Birdie tap. So, not bad for my first hole. Nice little four footer here for Birdie. Let's see what happens. I'm going to leave the pin in. I know this is controversial, but I'm going to leave the pin in. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Golf Pierce will love it. Oh. A little chicken left on that bone. All right, 
right, how about that? All right, first hole ever here on the Traveling Golfer Challenge, and I got a par. I had a nice little birdie putt, but I missed it. But that's all right, I'll take it. Par on the first hole. Wings, you can buddy. say I, I enjoyed my wings, but you know what? I remember you said you're going to share these with me, so oh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, I saved that one for you. Buddy. <laughs> yeah, the hey, International Club is a great place to come on the south end of, of the Grand Strand. Great golf, of course, is in great condition today. The food is excellent. It's part of the Motor Beach Golf Trail. You got to come and play International uh, Club Golf, InternationalClubGolf.com or MotorBeachGolfTrail.com. Yes, exactly. Two websites you can book it directly, or you can book it through the MotorBeachGolfTrail.com. And uh, get yourself a nice package. And I think Tony is going back outside. Ah, uh, he's going to get wet. <laughs> he's going to get wet. He's going to get wet. <laughs> the International Club, an absolute pleasure to play. But every once in a while, a bunker jumps out in front of one of my shots, even for a player of my caliber. We're going to see if we can get it up and down here. In the meantime, we hope to see you again somewhere else along the golf trail. And remember, the International Club in Myrtle Beach.